Hello everyone, I am your host William and I have some exciting news to share regarding the Canada Pension Plan that I think will interest all of our senior viewers. According to sources within the government, there are plans in the works to significantly increase CPP payments for eligible seniors. My sources tell me there is momentum building in Parliament and support from the Minister of Finance to provide a much-needed boost in CPP benefits. If approved, this increase could see monthly CPP payments rise by as much as $2,100 per month for qualifying seniors. Before we dive deep into the details of this proposed CPP increase, I want to ask you for a quick favor. If you find this news relevant and helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with any seniors in your life who could benefit from this information. Your likes and shares will help get the word out so no eligible recipient misses the opportunity to access these new benefits if approved. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. I don't want you to miss any new updates as we follow the developments on this $2,100 monthly CPP enhancement. Subscribing will alert you as soon as I have additional info to share. Certainly, let's dive into the specifics of this proposal. It's evident that this initiative aims to address a critical issue affecting lower-income seniors, particularly given the challenges posed by inflation in 2022 and 2023. The proposal seeks to provide much-needed financial relief to this vulnerable demographic. The rising costs of essential goods and services like housing, food, and medical care have placed an enormous burden on seniors who rely on fixed incomes. These seniors have been struggling to make ends meet in the face of these escalating expenses, and the proposed increase in CPP payments acknowledges the gravity of their situation. Now, when we talk about increasing the monthly CPP payments from the current average of approximately $700 to $2,100, we're discussing a substantial difference in financial security. Imagine having an additional $1,400 in your pocket each month. This boost in income could significantly improve the quality of life for seniors. They would have the means to afford healthier, more nutritious foods, essential medications, cover utility bills, meet housing expenses, and more. It could make a world of difference in their day-to-day -day lives and alleviate some of the financial stress they've been enduring. The drive for significantly higher CPP benefits gains its primary momentum from the impassioned pleas of seniors' advocacy groups. Over the past two years, these organizations have been resolutely vocal about the insufficiency of the current CPP payments, especially when confronted with the harsh reality of double-digit inflation. The magnitude of their concern is reflected in recent surveys, where it was discovered that over 80% of seniors were forced to make painful sacrifices in their daily lives. They were skipping meals, rationing essential prescription medications, and even falling into debt, all in an effort to make ends meet with a combination of CPP and OAS. This disheartening data has not gone unnoticed. Opposition parties have reacted with outrage, and the halls of parliament have been filled with impassioned debates about the urgent need for a substantial overhaul of the CPP system. Even the Minister of Finance himself has acknowledged the legitimacy of these concerns voiced by seniors and has made a commitment to explore viable solutions. Increasing CPP payments emerges as a direct and immediate way to offer financial relief to those who need it most. From what I've heard, there's a strong intention within the government to fast-track this policy change. The goal is to have the increased CPP benefits come into effect as early as this summer, offering seniors a lifeline in the face of their ongoing financial struggles. Of course, not all seniors would receive the full $2,100 monthly increase. The amount of your CPP enhancement would be determined by your existing monthly payment, but even an extra few hundred dollars per month would make a big difference for strained budgets. Now I'm sure many of you are wondering, how do I qualify for this proposed CPP increase? First, you must already be receiving CPP retirement benefits. If you are at least 60 years of age but have not yet applied for your CPP, you would need to submit your application to start receiving payments. The second criteria relates to your total income. The full 
$100 monthly enhancement would only go to low-income seniors. There would be a sliding scale for middle-income retirees, and higher-income seniors likely would not receive any increase. Specific income thresholds have not yet been shared publicly, but sources indicate individual seniors with less than $25,000 in total annual income and couples earning under $50,000 would qualify for the maximum CPP boost. Your income from other pensions and investments would factor into the eligibility calculation. They must already be approved for and receive CPP retirement benefits. Their total personal or household income must fall below the specified income thresholds. Assuming this proposal is successfully implemented, the responsibility for administering the new benefit would rest with Service Canada and the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA. Eligible seniors would not need to undertake the hassle of submitting a separate or special application. Instead, the additional funds would seamlessly start being deposited into their accounts alongside their regular CPP payments. This streamlined process aims to make it as convenient and straightforward as possible for eligible seniors to benefit from the enhanced CPP payments. And on the topic of applications, I always recommend seniors submit their paperwork for CPP and OAS benefits as soon as they turn 60. That way payments begin flowing the moment you retire, never leave any entitlements on the table. Even a few hundred extra dollars each month from CPP can improve your quality of life in retirement. And if this rumored $2,100 increase becomes reality, it would truly be life-changing for many lower-income seniors. Just imagine being able to afford healthier food, medical treatments, housing, and other necessities without constant financial stress. This CPP enhancement acknowledges the real challenges seniors face and provides concrete help. While not yet confirmed, my government sources are very hopeful this proposal will pass. All signs point to the majority of Parliament supporting this measure, and the Minister of Finance has significant influence to push it through. So I urge you to stay tuned for more updates. As soon as I have additional details to share, I'll let you know right away. We could see this CPP increase approved and taking effect within months. I will continue pressing my sources for more information on exact qualification thresholds and timelines. Please let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions. And make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Once I confirm more details on this CPP enhancement, I will immediately post a new video update. Turn on notifications so you don't miss that important follow-up. I'm thrilled to be able to share this exciting rumor about extra support for our seniors. We all know inflation has caused tremendous hardship. Hopefully this potential $2,100 monthly CPP increase can provide some real financial relief if it comes to fruition. In these difficult times, it's so important we support one another as a community. Make sure to check in on senior relatives, friends, and neighbors. Share this video and my future updates so no eligible recipients miss out on accessing these new benefits. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Parliament acts quickly to approve this proposal. I'll share more just as soon as I have it. Thank you all for watching today. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned.